Mr. Lova Lova, 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 what is going on Monkey Nation? It is Matt here, Matronch13, and some of you may not know me, um, but some of you may know me. I posted a couple weeks back here on Monkey Nation uh, some sabotage tips on WMD, um, but since I've posted, uh, Monkey Nation has jumped in subscribers, and uh, uh, some changes have happened on the channel, and uh, I'm going to talk about that today. But first, let's uh, congratulate Brass, Mo Brass Monkey here, um, the founder of this community channel. He, uh, he makes apps, as most of you probably know by now. And uh, he got the apps got noticed by Xjaws. He got a dual com, and uh, his apps have just catapulted. And guys, his apps are amazing. I mean, you guys should really look into buying them for whatever skill level you are. They're great. Um, I just think they're amazing. Brass Monkey Man, keep up the good work, and uh, you know what? Uh, good luck in the future, and congratulations if you're watching this, man. Um, so since he, his apps have taken off, he hasn't, he's, he hasn't uh, had a lot of time to you know, uh, maintain the channel, and it's, it's been hard for him, of course. Uh, beast. Oh man, I just got a Skype message. Sorry about that. But it's been hard for him since um, you know his apps have taken off, and he, he has to uh, you know. Um, take care of all that stuff. So recently, uh, he's got a couple new people in to uh, help take care and you know run the channel, um, as I could say. Um, so OG Walrus, he's always been uh, helping Brass out. Um, but two other new people coming in, and that is Chaos X Silencer and ID Shock. They're going to be doing the uploads and that kind of stuff, and uh, I'm excited. Uh, you know, I think they're going to make a great uh, team to uh, you know have a great and successful community channel and yeah so I, I can't wait to see more videos and great content up on this channel so today we got some home front gameplay for you that's right home front baby switching it up you know getting out of the call of duty um, see home front I'm, I'm kinda on the fence about getting but after this um, couple uh, this hour I was just playing before I did this commentary I've kind of fallen over to the side of the fence where you know um, I, I'm, I'm gonna buy it. Um, so let's let's get into that right now and um, I'll let you know if uh, if you know some specs and bad things about the game so let's start off with the graphics I heard Woody's gamertag say that it's kind of like Call of Duty 2 graphics and for me graphics isn't something that makes or breaks a game um, someone just walked into my room, sorry about that, but it's not something that makes or breaks a game, for me, in my opinion. Um, so that's not a big deal. And the other thing that really makes this game for me is the dedicated servers. You could do well on a one bar. It is great. I love it, okay? I mean, Black Ops, you're on a three bar or whatever, you start shooting at someone, they just turn around and spray you down. It's like, oh, great, man. <laughs> like, rage quit. <laughs> um... But yeah, so in this game, it's it's a bit of a different system. You guys can uh, notice that when you spawn in, you kind of you get a whole view of the battlefield, and it shows where all the enemies are, and that's great because it allows you to get back into the action immediately. And I know the maps are pretty big, so it's hard to find people, but that helps out enormously when you spawn in and you get a whole view of that map and you see where they all are. And I think I think that's great. And you guys can see here, um, when I die, just look and I spawn in and get a great view of the whole map and that I think that's really good for the game. Um, so, as you guys notice, I didn't really um, get any kill streaks in this game per se. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I could have, but I just really didn't know because, um, you know, I, I'm not really um, good at this game. I, like, I'm okay, but I wouldn't call myself, like, I'm not up to... Uh, my call of duty, how I play Call of Duty, you know. So y every time you get a kill or an assist, or you capture an objective. By the way, in this game, I was just playing Team Deathmatch. So because uh, I haven't, I have two other things unlocked. I don't know what they're called. One's um, one's just like domination, and one's like a groundwork type thing where it goes back and forth between Team Deathmatch and domination. It's not called domination, but it's like the objective thing is like the same thing as domination, and I you unlock more uh, you unlock more um, uh, game types as you get a higher rank, which I'm not there yet. So 
Yeah, so the battle point system, you get um, battle points for capturing the objective, getting kills, uh, getting assists, and with battle points, you can, you know, uh, unlock kill streaks, use your kill streaks, and there's different kill streaks you can unlock and stuff like that. It's really cool. I still haven't really gotten any, like, major good kill streaks and stuff, like, no, like, big helicopters and stuff. I'm only, like, level 5 here, but, um, I can't wait. I'm gonna go play this after. Um, so maybe in my next home front commentary, I can uh, bring that to you guys. Um, the other thing is, I, I, I cut off this commentary, um, uh, like eight minutes, I think it was, because uh, the games are really long. And uh, I end up losing this one, and at the end, um, I, I record for like 10 seconds just so you can see my final score. Because when I stopped recording, I was like 12 and 2, 12 and 3. And I finished off like 17 and 6, 17 and 5, so I just, uh, I start recording again at the end, so you guys can see my score. Um, but yeah, so, Homefront, I don't know, I, I really, like I said, I'm on the fence about buying it, and like I said, I'm falling over, and I think I'm gonna get it. So, in this uh, game, I was only level 5, and actually, me and my friend, we rented this game and we played it for one night and he said man i really don't like this here you can just have the rest of the rental i'm like wow thanks man like i'll take it home and at first i was i was on the i was still on the fence about it i was like wow man this this kind of blows you know like i don't think i'm gonna end up buying this but then it was one of those things i don't know if you guys get this with video games i'm sure a lot of you people do but i'm gonna i'm gonna kind of relate back to a story here um, back into the Halo 3 days when Xbox 360 first came out. I remember Halo 3 uh, when I was little, me and all my brothers would always play, and you know, the four player and everything online, that was awesome, good times. Um, and I would always go negative and, and everything, and like, it was always so bad playing it. I always felt, oh man, negative again. And then one day it just clicked, like, I went positive by two. And then for the rest, I was just like, bam, like positive every game. It was kind of like my groove. And it was like, wow, man, Halo's so awesome, right? And that was kind of like home front, man. First couple days I played it, I'm like, wow, yo, this is this is just not, no, wow, man. I was going negative or just positive and positive is good for me, but like going negative. And then like today was the day that it just clicked like it did in Halo 3. It's Boom! Click like a huge switch just hit, and I mean I've just loved it since then. I don't know, it just it's really awesome now. It just clicked for me, you know. I've been going positive. It's been really fun, and uh, yeah, I just you guys, if you guys are gonna buy it, let me know, yo. I'll play with you guys. It's a really great and fun game. Um, I, d I don't know. I just I, I just love playing it enjoy playing it um, but guys that wraps up the commentary i'm gonna do another home front commentary soon because i didn't get all i wanted to talk about today um but monkey nation viewers and subscribers hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, i'll see you guys later peace